Hey, what is going on guys? Extra Fusion here, and this is going to be my review for The Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 15, which was titled East. So this episode wasn't anything amazing. It wasn't, you know, an episode that's going to go down in the books as one of the best episodes in Walking Dead history. It was a subpar episode, and I'm going to talk about what I liked about the episode, what I didn't like about the episode, and some in-depth things maybe that you guys didn't notice, or kind of just evaluate out evaluating certain scenes from the episode. So... Let me just cover on the gameplay in the background. This is some dying light gameplay. I just thought, instead of showing little pictures of The Walking Dead, you know, different scenes from the episode, I would rather just show uh, some gameplay from a video game because it might be more interesting than just seeing little pictures and stuff like that. I don't know. I thought you guys might like a little bit more. But um, let's get into this. So let me start off with some things I didn't like about the episode. And there were a few things. There are small things, small subtle things that make don't make that much of a difference to the episode. But still you know, isn't a good thing in my opinion. So first of all, Carol. Carol with the gun. I just, I wish they showed what gun she had. That's a small, stupid little thing, but um, I was just confused at first because it looked like only a little pistol could fit in there. And, you know, I guess she had a machine pistol or something like that in her in her jacket and her sleeve and she shot them all up. But I just, I wish they showed what gun, the, what gun she was using because it just, it just would have made more closure for me and I wouldn't have to worry, you know, think about it later on about the in the episode be like so what guns did she have did you have like a uh, a g18 you know something like that. i don't know it was just i was thinking about what full auto pistol she could have had and i just i was thinking about all sorts of things and i would just rather not had to think about that and for it to just be part of the episode is just we saw what gun she had i don't know it's a small thing not something huge um some things that other people complain about but i i don't really complain about is everyone keeps complaining about the stupid choices characters are making now that's not bad writing. They keep saying it's bad writing. That is not bad writing. That is completely good writing. That is that is taking a character and doing something that they would do in that situation and doing it. It's not out of character. Daryl getting pissed off and wanting to go get revenge on Dwight. That is not out of his character. That is something Daryl would do any day of the week. And who who are you to say that is out of his character? Did you create the character? No. Who created the character? The Walking Dead created the character. So. You can't, you know, go and say, oh, it's out of his character, because it's not, okay? Um, it is something that Daryl would do um, when he's pissed off about someone. He wants revenge. He would go after them and try to make it right and kill the motherfucker. He would do that. And, of course, they get themselves into trouble, but that's going to happen. That's how most problems happen in real life. It's realistic. That's how most problems happen. People making stupid decisions. That happens, okay? So everyone complaining about it should just shut the fuck up. Let me just put it, put it at that. Um, a scene that I really liked, I really liked Rick and Morgan in this episode, because we haven't seen much of Rick and Morgan together ever since Morgan came in season 6. We haven't seen much of Morgan, like, at all, really. We saw a little bit of him in some episodes, but not enough, I don't think. And this episode I thought was great with Morgan, because he was talking to Rick, that little speech he said, it wasn't really a speech, but when he was saying, you know, telling Rick about the wolf and that he was keeping the basement, I loved that, because Rick started realizing, you know what, Maybe I don't have to kill everybody I come across. Maybe I can give people chances because it might come back um, and, you know, save my life or save, save Carl's life or something like that. Just like how, you know, saving that wolf ended up saving Carl's life. So, you know, I just, I, I, I love that scene. It was just one of those um, touching scenes between the two characters because the two characters have been not getting along whatsoever between, you know, season six at all. They have just not been getting along. Um... Yeah, now I'm going to talk about Daryl and Dwight. So everyone, oh, the fangirls on Twitter were freaking out. I was like, oh, oh my god, Daryl died. People are just so stupid. They wouldn't kill off Daryl like that. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do it on a gunshot, um, ending the episode like that, making us guess if he's dead or not. They wouldn't do that. Uh, they just did that because they probably wanted more viewers for the season finale. Because, you know, AMC always needs more viewers, blah, blah, blah. But, um... Yeah, it, he didn't die. It was a gunshot to the shoulder and the blood squirt on screen. You could even tell if you look at it again. You could even tell it was just a gunshot to the shoulder. It wasn't even he wasn't even aiming at his head. So, of course he's not. He doesn't want to kill Daryl. He just wants to you know put a gunshot to him and then find his base. You know, that's that's exactly what Dwight wants to do. Dwight's not an idiot. He's smart and he's gonna do something that will get them to Alexandria so they can, you know, go in, take whatever they want, and that's what that's what the Savers want. They want to take whatever they want. They want to own communities. They just they don't want to go out and kill whoever they want to kill. Like, they're different than the Wolves. The Wolves just went out and just killed and stole their stuff. No, they don't want to kill them and steal their stuff. They want to, you know, own them and steal their stuff. They're a bit different than the Wolves. 
um, the wolves weren't the smartest in the world. They just would go out and, you know, kill, which wasn't the smartest thing because it ended up in them dying a lot and didn't really end up in getting that much supplies anyways. But saviors are smarter people, especially Negan. He's a lot of smarter person. And instead of just killing them, he owns them and um, takes their stuff. But if he goes, if anyone goes against his rule, tries to stop him, then he kills them. And that's basically what happens with the majority of the storyline. Someone tries to stop Negan, and they go bye bye. So I'm really excited for the season finale. I, I still don't know if they're gonna do that cliffhanger ending or not. I'm hoping they don't. I'm hoping they show who gets loose sealed. And um, one more problem I've been having as well is just I don't like the directors that have been doing this I, I like some episodes i actually love the director in but i don't like close-up shots i think close-up shots are really annoying and that was something in last episode that the directors do they do it to kind of get situations you know so it doesn't look as unrealistic as it does um, but i don't like close-up shots whatsoever when there's like fight scenes i don't like close-up shots especially i mean i think they did a, a decent job in this episode um, it was just the one scene with the gun, with Carol holding the gun in, in her sleeve. Um, they showed a little bit of close-ups there. I just, I, I don't like close-ups. They did it in episode 14 too, where um, they were shooting at the saviors and stuff, and Daryl slit that guy's throat. They're showing all close-ups and stuff. I don't like close-ups when they're fighting people. When they're fighting walkers, whatever. Uh, like a No Way Out. I thought that was pretty cool when they were fighting all the walkers and it was close-up. That's okay, but I'm not the biggest fan of it when they're fighting against people. I think it should be you know, farther away shots and they should, you know, show everything that's happening. So we get a clear, you know, look at what's happening in this scene and we don't have to be, you know, curious about it. Um, what else was in this episode? We had, I loved Abraham and Rick's scene together when uh, Abraham was smoking that cigar and he was like, I'm about to tear this world new asshole. And they were laughing. It reminded me of the comics because Rick and Abraham had a good relationship in the comics, but they haven't really had that in the show whatsoever. So I'm happy they were starting to bring that relationship together and... It's going to be really interesting stuff. So Maggie, um, I'm really curious as to what's happening to her stomach. I don't know if she's in labor or if, you know, something's happening with the baby. Or I'm, I'm thinking she's just having really bad stomach pains. I don't think it's that she's getting into labor just yet. Because she, just, she just found out she was pregnant like a month or two ago. Um, so I really don't think she's already having labor. I think she's just having some weird stomach pains or something. And there obviously are pretty bad stomach pains. So this is what I think is going to happen because in the clip for the promo for next week's episode, you can see them heading off to somewhere. I'm assuming they are heading off to the hilltop to get Maggie there because they need the doctor. Because the, of course they don't have a doctor anymore at Alexandria, and they have Doctor Carson over at the hilltop. So they're obviously traveling there, and um, obviously they get stopped by some saviors in the way. And that's how problems, you know, happen. And then of course they'll run into Negan. With who Negan will probably have, you know, Daryl, Michonne, Rosita, and and uh, and Glenn as captured. Uh, then we're gonna have to see more of Morgan finding Carol. Probably, I'm sure Morgan will find Carol. I don't know if they're gonna make it to the Negan scene or not. So I'm thinking Morgan's and Carol are not gonna be at the Negan scene actually. Um, but that makes me think either Glenn or Daryl will get the Lucille. But We'll have to wait and see, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, one more thing. I hope we see Jesus next week. We haven't seen Jesus in so long. We've only seen him episode um, 10, 11, 12, and we haven't seen him in the past three episodes, and I want to see Jesus again. I fucking love this character. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.